Hey, hey YouTube, Jordan here, and I'm showing this HP Compact NX5000. It's a pretty good laptop. I mean, I got this here off of eBay for around $112 refurbished. And I've had the exact same laptop, exact same model, but the hard drive died in it. Which was a shame, and I destroyed it. Um, so let's so let's go ahead and go run the ports here. It's a DVD drive on it, which is pretty cool. Back in this time, there's the hard drive right there. Uh, microphone, headphone jacks. Turn this around here. Pretty heavy laptop. Um, it gets two USB ports, 2.0. It's an Ethernet jack, a 1394 FireWire port, VGA, S video, printer port, serial, um, power, power port, fan, well, cooling vent, is, is what you can see. Um, on this side you got a security, security hole, um, a m telephone modem jack, two PC, two PC expansion slots for like Ethernet and Ethernet port and other things, I guess the little dummy cards in them. It, below that gets a SD card slot, and there's the battery. So it's a pretty nice laptop for the money, refurbished, brand new. Well, not brand new, but hey, it was fur refurbished. Um, on the front here, you get the speakers, pretty good sounding speakers, and um, the volume control, and the mute sw mute button, and the Wi-Fi antenna there. Um, inside here we got the Wi-Fi, power, charging, hard drive, and disk acid, um, CD drive, light. You got the best sounding speakers, the UBL Pro speakers in them. Got a trackpad, clickers. Um, you got the Intel, focus. Intel Centrino in it. And it gets designed for Windows XP. And as you can see, keyboard's a little shiny. It's not new. Um, you got a pretty good display. Um, you got your presentation button, Wi-Fi lock and power, your keyboard lights. So without further ado, let's go ahead and turn it on. HP, and for some reason, if I hit F10, it says there's an administrator password, which I do not know the password for this thing, because I got off eBay, <laughs> and who knows what the seller put on as a password, which I heck don't know. <laughs> Now, I'm filming this with my new iPod Touch. Fifth generation. And I don't know why this comes up, this Broadcom stuff, which always has a media test failure, which nothing wrong with the port or anything. It works good. Um, yeah, I got custom Windows XP startup boot up screen, which is pretty cool. And all Windows XP. Gotta love it. Alrighty. Wait for it to come up. I do got signal. If you can see it blink. I think it's blinking. Alrighty. Camera needs to focus. And I got a custom login screen, which is pretty cool, of what the software I got on here. 
<laughs> um, that's a good laptop. I've had it, I think, for a year. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I think I've had it for a few months. More than eight, I think. More than ten. I don't know for sure. Um, I do got, you know, woo, you know, two of utilities on it, which always does a good job. Um, it's running on AC power. Um, it's connected to my network, which is good. Um, yeah, other things, I got a game on here. I'll show you specs. Specs are pretty good for this laptop. It does run a little slow, but hey, it's good enough. Focus. It has Microsoft Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3 registered to HP. <laughs> it gets the Intel Pentium M processor clocked at 1400 MHz, and it gets 504 megabytes of RAM. And I'll show you what it got for hardware. Hardware, it's almost like my other one, which I destroyed. Got the battery in it. Basic Unibuy piece, multi-processor PC. Got the Hitachi drive in it. That's the Intel graphics controller, which is not great, but it could be worse. Um, it got the Toshiba DVD-ROM drive in it. No floppy disks. Uh, storage controller. 1394 Texas Instruments. Firewire port. Um, a fast infrared port. Standard keyboard. A PS2 port touchpad. Which is... the as... Um, modem, I got the uh, Agree Systems AC97 modem. Monitor, standard plug and play. Um, network, I got the 1394 network adapter. Got the Broadcom integrated controller, which is the Ethernet. And the Intel Pro Wireless 2200BG wireless card in it. Um, PCM CIA gets a generic card bus controller, and the flash memory would be a Texas Instrument flash media controller. Basic stuff. So it does run fast. I mean, I'll show you how big the hard drive is. It's a 37.2 gig. I have 29 gigs left on it. My arm's killing me. Um, let's launch a program. Let's try uh, Google Chrome, which does really good on here. Okay, there's Google Chrome. Let's go to YouTube. There's YouTube. Show you my channel here. Here's my channel. Um, if you guys wanted to subscribe to my channel, I would very appreciate that. So let's get it out of Google Chrome. I'll show you the program that I put the custom startup screen and login screen on. I use this program called TuneUp Utilities, which really speeds up the computer. Highly recommend this program. I really do. Um, show the system info. This gives you a more basic overview of the system. Yeah, Intel Pentium M. About gig. A gigabyte of L2 cache. Plug and play monitor. Intel GM GME graphics. Um, 1024 by 768, uh, 32-bit color. Um, the PS2 port touchpad, standard keyboard, the DVD-ROM and the Hitachi drive. 
Um, here's the audio. We got the Sound Max um, digital audio on the Microsoft GS Wave Table S SW synthesizer, which is not that great network right there. Um, the system, it's an Intel Pentium Man. There's the code name. 1400 megahertz. It's got 64 gigabytes of L1 cache and a gig of get a gigabyte one gigabyte of L2 cache socket 10 U10 there's the BIOS from 2004 <laughs> oh boy. um memory memory gets about physical memory 504 megabytes display you got the Intel graphics. Oh, there's the um, uh, DirectX version I'm running, 9.0C. Um, yep, Windows XP Professional. Um, was installed in 2011, which is cool. Got Internet Explorer 8, which always crashes. Oop, you don't want that code because it's not your information to see. And the basic info again. So, other stuff, I got the basic stuff. Accessibility, command prompt, everything else. Um, got the basic games, Internet Explorer, MSN, Outlook Express. Windows Media Player. I didn't have Windows Media Player 6 when it first came on. What it first came with and bumped it up to Internet, um, Windows Media Player 9. Um, Movie Maker. Got some X on here. The two deputies. Google Chrome. Uh, WinRAR. Which is a good program. And some games which I uninstalled. Um got the basic my documents, my pictures, music, control panel, printers, connecting to basic stuff. Not much to go into. Um show you how the speakers sound. Only cranked up. Let's go into yeah, man, move over. Uh, sound, sounds. Oh, and I didn't like the Windows XP sounds on here, so I put the Windows Seven sounds off of another computer on here. Yeah, pretty good speakers, not bad. Yeah, hey, pretty good speakers, not bad. Pretty good speaker, not bad. Um, yeah, I got Flash Player on here, so I can watch YouTube. So let's go ahead and shut her down. This pretty ca fast computer, not gonna lie. See how quick that was for it to log off? I'm pretty quick. It's already shutting down. Like most Windows XP computers, they wouldn't shut down that quickly. Um, and there's the latches right there. No webcam, which is a disappointment. So, so thank you guys for watching. And feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys next time.